Hi everyone, we just got to Brisbane Airport on our way to Gladstone up for the Youth Combine. Really excited to see what the girls have to offer up there and keen to rip in and have a great day. So I'm from um, a small country town in Moringandan, so just outside of Toowoomba, um, and I was ID'd through the Queensland Country Pathway. Yeah, really excited to be here in Gladstone. Um, the purpose of these combines is to, for us to identify some talent if we haven't otherwise seen them and bring them into our rugby pathway, but also then start tracking these players individually on their rugby journeys over the next few years. It's been really great to see the girls participate. We've had girls come from all over um, Queensland as far as um, Blackwater and Emerald. So it's been a really great engagement activity and Rio Shinto is really proud to have been able to have been given the opportunity to support something that really does give our local community an opportunity that they might not have otherwise had exposure to. Today we, we've run players through a series of athletic and rugby tests um, to give them a bit of exposure to what an elite environment would provide them. So we, we put them through a 40 metre sprint effort a couple of times, put them through 1.2 kilometre tri time trial, uh, measured some, some jumps with them as well through some equipment from, from Bold and then put them through some, some rugby you know, catch pass decision making, tackle into contact drills just to give them a bit of a, what of a, a high performance environment looks like and, and feels like on a daily basis and then hopefully take a few of those things away back into their, into their training environments. Yeah, it's amazing that they all made the trip out. Um, I think it just shows the excitement around um, women's rugby and these girls coming through that they're willing to travel for a combine like this. So yeah, it was awesome to see so many girls from all different parts of Queensland come here. It's been really great seeing the kids running around out here today. There's been a really great feedback received from the parents, our, our employees and teammates that have um, really had a lot of positive things to say. The kids, I haven't seen one without a smile on their face, so it's been really great. Yeah, watching the girls do their Broncos today, you know, it's pretty hard, pretty 1.2, trying to do it as fast as you can in the heat. Uh, I think they did really well, but yeah, hats off to them, I wouldn't want to do it today. Yeah, absolutely. So in 2019, I came to a combine that the Reds hosted as well, and that was my opportunity to show my athletic capabilities. So that was the start of my rugby career. And I think it's really important because girls in regional areas like Gladstone and the surrounding areas, we don't have the opportunities like girls from metro areas do. I know in Gladstone there's no rugby union competition, so it's great that, um, like I said, the girls have this opportunity to showcase what they have, so we can find those hidden gems in regional areas and they get the opportunity to shine on the big stage. It's amazing to see so many girls here today. Um, having the opportunity to, you know, kind of come in and show what they've got. Um, I think it doesn't happen enough in regional Queensland, but it's great that Rio Tinto and Reds are coming out here and, and putting it on. I think the excitement showed um, within the girls and I think they all did really well today, so. The girls are out on the field um, showing off all of their talents with great determination. Having regional girls be able to come through a pathway such as the rugby union um, pathway is really important. Sometimes in our sporting fields, regional girls get forgotten and it's really important to have days like this where everyone from different regions, from Gympie, Blackhall, Emerald, um, the Sunshine Coast, even come to Gladstone where they can actually aspire to the dream of one day representing our country, particularly knowing that we have the 2032 Olympic Games being right here in Queensland, Brisbane. And having Rio in partnership with the Queensland Reds is an exceptional partnership in allowing uh, young females to come along and to really, um, truly discover um, their capability or what their future could be. Um, so having that in Gladstone is exceptional for women. Yeah, absolutely. So many um, big events coming up and time flies. So to get in early and ID a few girls, um, or hopefully more than a few, will be fantastic. So we've got our Home World Cup coming up at the end of 
yeah, in 2029 and then the Home Olympics. So yeah, lots of exciting things coming up that we can yeah, start making moves for now. It's been great being able to activate a partnership like this that we have at a corporate level with Rio Tinto locally where you have you know, the families and the, the kids of our people um, out in the smelter, out at the refineries, doing the hard work in the hot heat, um, really be able to benefit from those partnerships that we have. This has purely been like a proof of concept for us and now we intend to roll this out in a much wider scale within our, within our integrated pathway over the next 12 to 18 months. Thanks Gladstone for a great day and Rio Tinto for putting it on. Um, can't wait to see you guys back here soon.